everyone and welcome back to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin and in today's video I'm doing a little summertime home refresh. When spring arrived I did a lot of spring cleaning and now that summer's here I want that change of season to be reflected in our home. These spring-like tulips have been sitting on our table for a while and I still love them and enjoy them and I find them to be bright and cheerful. So I'm going to leave these even though they're not typically summer flowers, but I am going to do a few other things around our home, both decor wise and cleaning wise to freshen things up around here. I'm going to start with these plants that I have on the sill next to our table in the kitchen nook area. This aloe plant has some dead leaves, I guess you call it, or stems that need to be trimmed. So I'm going to take care of that. And then this other, I think it's called Kolanchi. It's a plant that's new to me, but was given to me by my Bible study friends for a birthday almost two years ago. It has been doing so well and it's already bloomed for the season. So it needs to have the old blooms cut off and some dead leaves removed and it can be kind of messy. So I moved it outside. That way I can let all of the trimmings just fall to the ground and I won't have a mess to clean up afterwards. And truth be told, I'm looking for any excuse possible to spend time outside. And of course, Austin comes along with me. He loves to be outside too. And I know you guys love to see him, so I'm going to give you a little bit of Austin antics. Also when I'm outside, I like to peek in on what's happening in the garden. We had a really long rain yesterday, so everything is fresh and green, and I'm really enjoying the sunshine after being shut inside from a day of rain. <laughs> and I'm always checking to see if there's anything ripe yet. The garden is still fairly new, but things are coming along. I decided to go ahead and pick these not quite ripe yet tomatoes because the birds love to come peck into them and ruin them. So before they get a chance, I'm going to take them along. And if you were following the saga of the mystery critter that destroyed all of the green beans in our planter, they have not come back. I still don't know what it is, but we spread some of Austin's hair after we brushed him around the garden and that seems to have deterred them. And now the green beans that I planted from seeds are coming on strong and doing very well. living room I took these winter throw blankets away when spring came but inevitably we pulled them back out because we like to snuggle up in the evenings we don't keep the house really cold but it's still nice when you sit down to watch a movie or read a book to have something covering your legs I just picked out two beautiful throw blankets from Rivet, which is an Amazon company that are lightweight and light color. So I think they're going to look a lot better in our living room and reflect the summer season better, yet we can still use them in the evenings when we wanna snuggle up. I am an Amazon associate, so whenever you buy something from my Amazon store, I do get a small commission, but it does not change the price that you pay, and it does support my channel. I was recently asked to become a part of their home influencer program, so periodically Amazon will send me some home products from their brands to use in our home and to share with you. I chose this particular blanket because the orange tassels were really unique and I felt like it would tie in really well with the drapes that we have here in the living room.
change makes a big difference to me. I feel like these colors and the weights of these blankets are much more appropriate for the summertime. This one is 100% acrylic and is super warm and soft. And this one is a 50% cotton, 50% acrylic blend. It's a little bit thinner and extremely soft. I also just received my July recipe box from Simply Earth and I am so excited about this one and I can't wait to show it to you. Simply Earth is my favorite source for 100% pure essential oils at a third the price of the major brands. They have a subscription box that you can get each month that contains four essential oils, six recipes, some extra ingredients to help you make those things, and when you subscribe for the first time, you get a bonus box with tons of other goodies to help you make recipes for future recipe boxes. If you use my link in the description box along with my code Faith and Flower Free, you will get a $40 gift card when you start your subscription and subscriptions can be canceled at any time. So it's a great way to either try essential oils or if you've been using them for a long time, they will give you tons of ideas for how to use them in your home. This box includes spearmint, palmarosa, rosemary, and fit, which is a Simply Earth custom blend. And I have fallen in love with all of them, but especially spearmint. I am just discovering it for the first time and I love it. I also mixed up their recipe for nails without fail oil and it's wonderful. All of us are washing our hands more than ever and my cuticles have gotten very dry and this has made them feel and look so much better. One of the reasons why I was so excited to try the spearmint essential oil was because one of my neighbors and friends, Dixie, told me that she loves mixing up my DIY disinfecting spray and using spearmint essential oil. Ever since she told me that, I have been dying to try it for myself. And if you're watching Dixie, you were right. This stuff is amazing. I will have my recipe for this cleaner in the description box. It contains vodka, water, a little bit of Castile soap, and an essential oil of your choice. You can swap in rubbing alcohol if you prefer not to use vodka. However, I don't like that because of the fumes that it creates. This is a great all-purpose cleaner. It does kill bacteria, but it doesn't kill viruses. So if that's something that's important to you, make sure you use a product that is approved to do so. Before I store away our blankets for the season, I want to wash them. And before I do that, I want to give our washing machine a good refresh. Every model is different, but my soap dispenser comes out and I can take the pieces apart so that I can access all of the places where the fabric softeners and detergents build up and get really gross. I'm just using the DIY disinfecting cleaner that I just showed you along with an old toothbrush. This is great for getting into all of the little nooks and crannies and loosening up all the dirt. Then I just rinse it with water. After I reassemble it, but before I put it back in, there's one other area that I want to clean that's really gross, so if you're squeamish, you might want to look away. If you're looking, I warned you, it's gross. <laughs> so I'm going to use some of the DIY cleaner, spritz it down really good, and then use that old toothbrush to loosen up all of that disgusting buildup. It looks a lot better, but it still has a little ways to go and I want it to be disinfected. So I'm going to reinsert my soap dispenser and add a little bit of bleach, but don't do it this way. I sloshed it everywhere. It's better if you use a measuring cup or something like that to pour it in. But in any case, if your washing machine doesn't have a cleaning mode, you can buy a product called a fresh, just search for it on Amazon and you can clean your washing machine too. 
While my washing machine is doing its thing, I am going to use my new spearmint spray to clean our countertops. Not only does this cleaner smell amazing and really freshen up our kitchen, but it is completely safe for natural stone. So a lot of DIY cleaners that you will find recipes for call for vinegar, which is not okay for natural stone. And we have limestone in here in the kitchen. We have granite in our bathroom. We have travertine on our floors. So anytime when I want to use a cleaner, I know that this one is safe for those surfaces and is going to do a great job. Another great way to refresh your kitchen is to clean the filter in your dishwasher. This is a really easy way to cut down on odor buildup in your dishwasher and it also helps it function better too. Again, each model of dishwasher has a slightly different filter. Most of them are located in the bottom of the dishwasher like mine. And this one comes apart in two pieces, which makes it a little bit easier to clean. And I just like to use some regular dish soap and a bottle brush to get in there and get it really clean. Then I just rinse it and return it to the dishwasher. way to give your kitchen sink a refresh is to scrub it with some baking soda. Baking soda is all natural and safe for most sinks. Mine is stainless steel. I know it also works great on porcelain. It is a little bit abrasive and it eliminates odors. So it does a great job of cleaning. You could also add a little bit of vinegar if you like or dish soap. Today I'm just using plain baking soda. And as you rinse it away, it will refresh your garbage disposal and drain. Along with the baking soda that went down the drain, I'm going to put in some ice cubes. Sometimes I use lemon peel. Both of those things work great to clean out your garbage disposal. And today I'm going to add a few drops of that spearmint essential oil. The cleaning cycle on my washing machine is finished and look what a difference it made. It is a lot better in there now and I feel a lot better about cleaning our blankets before storing them away for the season two. The plaid blanket is wool, so I'm going to use this wool and cashmere shampoo from The Laundress. I have this in my Amazon store as well if you're interested. This is a great mild cleaner and it's important to clean wool before you store it away for the season because moths are often attracted to dirt or food, anything like that that could be in it. And so after it's washed and clean, I'm just going to hang it here in the laundry room to dry. The 
This other blanket is a cotton and acrylic blend, so I can wash this one safely with a regular detergent, and I like the one from the Grove Collaborative that is made for cold water. So I'm just going to add that and run it on a cold water cycle, and I can even put that one into the dryer. Instead of fabric softener, I'm going to add some of this Fit Essential Oil Blend, which contains grapefruit, spearmint, and lavender to my wool dryer balls. They will give the blanket a really nice scent and it will reduce static and cut down on the drying time. Just as I finished our summer home refresh, the rain returned, which is okay because now I have some cozy blankets to snuggle up with and I will look forward to some beautiful sunshine tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. And if you are new here, I want to invite you to subscribe. Subscribing is easy, it's absolutely free, and I would love to have you join our Faith and Flower community. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to talking with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week.